From people hiring you to cry at funerals to getting paid for literally watching paint dry, we count 10 of the strangest jobs ever. Number 10. Pet Food Tester If you've ever been in a supermarket and walked through the aisles of pet food, you might want to spare a moment, because every one of them has been taste tested by people. If you ever want to make sure that pets around the world are fed nothing but the best, from the taste, smell and even the texture, then perhaps you'll be fit to become a professional pet food tester. Number 9. Sleeper It might seem like a fairy tale for some, but in 2010, a Chinese woman landed a gig to sleep on the job. Miss Tsuang was accepted out of 7,800 applicants to be a professional sleeper for the travel platform Kuna. The profession has become slightly more commonplace, and in 2013, a Finnish hotel announced they were looking for an applicant to write a quality blog about their experience living in the best spot of summery Helsinki. So keep your eyes peeled, because if sleep is for you, you could literally land yourself a dream job. Number 8. Iceberg Mover Following the tragic sinking Titanic, North American and European parties came together to create the International Ice Patrol. The patrol is charged with monitoring icebergs that endanger offshore oil rigs. If an iceberg enters a danger zone, the patrol is called out in order to tow the massive ice structures away. These professional iceberg removers tread a fine line with danger, as they move the ice out of harm's way. Should the ice flip while being towed, the ships can be crushed by a wall of ice, and the ensuing waves are enough to turn the stomach of the most seasoned sailor. Number 7. Mourner If you're living in Taiwan and find yourself unable to make it to the funeral of a loved one, you may be able to hire a filial daughter to mourn for you. With the limited travel options within the country, these surrogate mourners maintain Taiwanese traditions when it comes to the proper farewells for the dead. Crying, wailing and chanting, these professional mourners lead families through times of grief and open them up to their true emotions, but not everyone has it in them to work in such tragic conditions. Number 6. Hitchhikers Within the bustling streets of Jakarta, lines of poor offer their services to those travelling throughout the city. Their job? Professional hitchhiker. With Jakarta's intense traffic, moves have been made to limit the extreme amounts of cars travelling its busy streets. With this came the idea for a 3-in-1 zone. These zones are designated to vehicles that are carrying 3 or more members. These vehicles are given their own lanes, which drastically cut down on travel times. Because of these lanes, many drivers who are needed to travel quickly but don't have the necessary passenger count in order to use the lanes will hire one of the bystanders so they can take these fast lanes. Number 5. Oshia have you ever been on a train or bus and thought to yourself, how could anyone else fit? Well, the Japanese have found the answer. Lining the platforms of Japan's busiest railways are a group of employees whose sole purpose is to squeeze as many people as possible into the overcrowded trains. The pushers, called Oshia, complete with their uniforms, white gloves and hats, work between the rush hours of 7 to 9 a.m. and 5 to 7 p.m and are usually students working a part-time job. So if you're someone who excels when push comes to shove, Japan might have a job for you. Number 4. Face Feeler Behind every beauty product that claims to give you the smoothest skin lies an employee whose job is to feel up the faces of models using their product. These professional face feelers test how soft a model's face feels after using a particular product of skincare. Spending your days with beautiful women as you gently feel their face might be the ideal for some, and while there are other aspects to the job of a professional face feeler, like checking for skin conditions and making sure testers have no reactions to ingredients in the products, at the end of the day, they're there to feel a face. Number 3. Snuggler Ever had a moment where you simply want a hug? Maybe it's been a tough day at school or work and you just want to sit down and be with someone for a while. Well, you're in luck, because over the last few years, a trend has been taking off that will provide, for a price, a time with a professional snuggler. Originating in Japan, but now also present in a few areas around the US, 
These professional snugglers offer a sense of closeness and belonging. With overnight sessions also being available, these professional snugglers are often called in by those who have recently lost a wife or husband and simply miss the feeling of having someone close to them. It may sound strange, but it's rather sweet to have a profession dedicated to fulfilling the needs of those who are sad or alone. Number 2. Paint Drying Watcher Ever been so bored that you'd rather watch paint dry? Well, worry not, because for the past four years, Dr. Thomas Kerwin has been working for Dulux to do just that. This 34-year-old scientist's full-time job is to observe the particle and color changes within different paints as they dry. While it may sound like a walk in the park, the job holds a lot of responsibility as checks are made to the durability of different paints. Similar lines of work are also present with Mr. Jackson, a 57-year-old man spending his last 30 years of employment testing the tackiness of various paints. People do laugh and find it amusing when I tell them what I do, Mr. Jackson said, but he emphasized the necessity for quick dry paint in places like the London Underground, where they only have a brief window before passengers become too congested. It could be described as the most boring job in the world, but it is a very important one. Number 1. Human Scarecrow When all other traditional methods for scaring birds away from a certain field in Norfolk failed, William Young has decided he'd have to go back to the source of the scarecrow and employ someone to simply scare away the birds. Jamie Foxx, a 22-year-old college graduate, landed this odd job where he uses various instruments to scare partridges off of the 10-acre block of land. Earning £250 sterling a week, the human scarecrow was able to finance a trip to New Zealand off his strange profession. Mr. Fox also noted that some of his friends, even though they have higher paying jobs, are jealous of him as he sits in fields where he claims to listen to podcasts and read books. It's nice to be out in the fresh air, Mr. Fox stated. Although it gets very cold when the wind whips across the field and I've had to shelter in a wood when it's rained, 